Hello everyone, welcome back to ByteVigor channel. In software development, sometimes we need to add a layer between abstraction and implementation to better decouple them. The bridge design pattern offers a solution that allows the abstraction and implementation parts to change independently. Imagine you have a website with different pages and you want to allow users to change the theme. What would you do? Create multiple versions of each page for each theme? Or create separate themes and load them based on user preferences? The bridge pattern allows you to do the latter, that is, create separate themes and load them based on user choices. Simply put, the bridge pattern is about favoring composition over inheritance. It moves implementation details from one hierarchy to another object with a separate hierarchy. According to Wikipedia, the bridge pattern is a structural design pattern that decouples an abstraction from its implementation so that the two can vary independently. To better understand this pattern, let's take a simple example of a shape class implemented in Java. Suppose we have different shapes, like circles and squares, and different colors, like red and green. We want to be able to combine shapes and colors freely without creating new classes for each combination. First, we define a color interface, color, with a fill method. Then, we define concrete color classes, such as red and green, which implement the color interface. Next, we define an abstract shape class, shape, that holds a reference to a color interface and defines an abstract draw method. Then, we define concrete shape classes, such as circle and square, which extend the abstract shape class and implement the draw method. Now we can freely combine shapes and colors and call the draw method. Here, we create a red circle and a green square and call their draw methods. As you can see, with the bridge pattern, Shapes and colors can be combined flexibly without creating separate classes for each combination. When should we use the bridge design pattern? When you want to decouple the abstraction part and the implementation part so that they can vary independently, you can use the bridge pattern. The bridge pattern helps you expand your system more flexibly without modifying existing code. Finally, let's summarize the content of this lesson. The bridge design pattern separates the abstraction part from the implementation part so that they can change independently. In actual development, the bridge pattern can help us create more flexible and extensible systems, improving code maintainability. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to ByteVigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content. See you in the next video.